I thought I should really address with what is happening today in this world and how life is so turned upside mm -hmm. down and what in God's word used to be known as right is now considered wrong. Mm -hmm. So I have a blog, you know, that uh, God, God has blessed mm -hmm. me to do. Go to gmarieprince.com and you go to the, um, to the blog section, you'll see many different, uh, you know, topics that might interest you to read. And so, um, looking at one of the verses that I have on here is 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 11. You not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extorter, extortionists, I'm sorry, will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were s some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. And uh, then I have here, not everyone has been washed, sanctified, or justified in the name of Jesus because they have rejected him. God is a holy and righteous and a just God. Mm. He's got to punish sin. There's so much sin going on in this world. Again, what used to be right is now considered wrong. And so what I'm afraid of for, for my family, for, their, for, for my grandchildren's generation, Mm -hmm. If it continues to sin, you know what happened with Noah? They flooded the world. He flooded mm -hmm. the world because he needed to purify the land. So he said the next time he comes back, he's going to do it with fire. So I guess what I'm saying with this warning sign is, is that I know you want to live. You want your children to live. Jesus loves you. He, crea you know, he created you. He gave you this earth to live and mm -hmm. to, be, to live life abundantly. Amen. But we're not doing it correctly the way, and what he's doing is he's warning us in the fact that sometimes people don't like the laws, mm -hmm. but it's like, you know, thou shalt not kill. Why? Because you murder somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's always a reason why, you know. And mm -hmm. so the thing is, is that it's for your own protection. It's for protection of others. Mm -hmm. And so basically, um, you know, this is really a time that we need to pray, pray mm -hmm. against the spirit of murder in our nation, especially the, the fact that unborn babies now up to even the delivery date, yes. okay? Oh, that you are yes. now, doctors will not cr be criminally charged for what they do if they allow an abortion to happen at nine months at That's the delivery so date, cool. okay? And so the thing is, is that um, come against the spirit of murder, come against the spirit of pride, arrogance, and disobedience, and, um, mm. and, 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 and even, um, of the spirit of false witness in our nation. So many lies that are yes. happening. And even you turn on the media, there's so many lies that are happening. Mm -hmm. so, so the thing is, is it, pray for gift of discernment in your life, for your family. Mm -hmm. Pray that God protects, okay, and forgives. So repent, you know, for the sins of our nation. And, uh, and God says, um, my people, okay, Second Chronicles 7, 14, mm -hmm. my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land mm -hmm. and you know what you hear the story with Jonah how he got swallowed up mm -hmm. in the fish because he didn't want to warn Nineveh right he was supposed to go into, uh, and to speak to the uh, Nineveh and to tell them to repent and so what happened was he was being disobedient but then finally God, you know, he was willing to. He mm -hmm. goes and speaks to them. They ended up repenting, and mm -hmm. God gave them more years yeah, in their life and didn't destroy them like he did with Noah and Sodom mm -hmm. and Gomorrah. So I just felt like I needed to share that, and I just hope that you really take the time to repent mm -hmm. and forgive and ask for forgiveness of the sins of, of yeah. you, you know, your family, this nation, and so maybe God will extend our years.